Greetings and salutations, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of The Last Stop. Okay, so last episode, we uh, we we did the Jack and John story where, you know, they they switch bodies and continue that storyline. So this time, we're doing domestic affairs with our favorite girl, Mina Hughes herself, in Chapter 2, Unfaithful. The next station is Sol Serene. Previously on Last Stop. Are you right, babe? Yeah. Just had a long day. My babe's saving the world again, is she? The most exciting desk job there is. See, so you've met Amy. Is that her name? She's getting fast tracked. What? I've decided to include Amy in the selection process. Let's see who comes out on top. Domestic Affairs, Chapter 2 Unfaithful. So here we are, it's Mina Hughes. Hey, Dad. Oh, nice facial hair. How's life inside the military industrial complex? Blown up any babies with your death robots this week? Nah, not this week. No, sorry. But hey, maybe when you overthrow the government, you can have me thrown in the gulag. Ew. That might cheer you up. All I see in the news these days is robots. Robots killing people, robots taking jobs, robots having sex with people. What? You know, in my day, we'd have balloted if someone tried to give a job to a bloody robot. Strong industrial action is what we need. Interesting. Been feeling okay? You were a bit wobbly when we last spoke. Dr. Lund was concerned. That's another thing that's gone to the dogs. The state of the health service in this country. Okay, before you get deep into another one of your rants, do you fancy going for a walk? Nene, you're just trying to shut me up? Well, I won't fall for it. That was close. Let's go look at some birds, you miserable old sod. Well, don't dawdle. Lead on. Why do I never get to see my grandson? Yeah, right. Because you terrify the poor kid. <laughs> Nonsense. I'm just trying to correct all the rubbish you put in his head. Mm. You're determined to make my life difficult, aren't you? Gotta love parents that kind of talk, or grandparents that talk bad about the parents, huh? Gotta love them, right? Are you still got your allotment here? Bastards took it away from me. Well. I'm sorry to hear that. Dare I ask why? The fascists closed ranks and forced me out. Didn't have the stomach for my radical proposals. Mm. And there it is. That's how they give uh, insignificant characters uh, no faces. They just... Okay, where am I going? Okay, just to sit here? Okay, cool. Here you go, comrades. Get your beaks around this manky old bread. Dad, I wanted to ask something. I call these two Tony and Alistair. Mangy old bear. Did you or Mum ever have an affair? What? I'm not going to judge. It's fine. I'm sure all marriages have their difficult moments. Yeah, they have their ups and downs. Did you get that idea? Our marriage was strong. Your mother shone like gold you know she saw the beauty in all things Nini no matter how cracked and broken spending 40 years seeing the world through her eyes was a privilege she was always so patient with us do you remember that mobile we made together the <laughs> one I tore down in a strop. <laughs> Seabirds of the British Isles. I got it from the RSPB. Oh, your mother loved coming here to feed the birds. You know, everything took a turn for the worse when she left us. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah. But we all have to push forward. You had a 
I don't know why you turned out like you did. Hmm. Well, a father like you, probably. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Not enough of me, I see. Okay. Take me home. I, uh... And home we go. In a hurry to get back to work. Oh, yeah. No, I'm done for the day. Good. You'll have time for a couple then. I had Julia come around here the other day. You know, Julia from the book club. Oh, nice. Anyway, she was trying to get me to sponsor her boy to climb some hill in South America. You keep a cheek of it. What does climbing a mountain, let alone traveling all the way to Argentina, have to do with charity? Oh, no. Wrong way around. I'm not paying for someone to have a lavish holiday. Who do they think they are? It's an insult, to be honest. And if you want a holiday, could have a weekend in Wales like the rest of us. Don't be shy. I'll have a little more. Keep it coming. A little more. Seriously. Man loves his sugar. Oh, honey, honey. You were my candy girl. Here, yeah, yeah. better chocolate biscuits. Ooh. Oh. Is that cocaine? What is this? Oh. Oh, I'm, I am a robot. Eye condition. Don't appear bloodshot. Pupils not dilated. No residual signs of intoxication. Seems compost. Mentis. By Dad Sanders, at least. Concealed packages. Doesn't seem to be hiding anything on person. No hidden merchandise. Safe to assume I've found this entire stash. No signs of wiretap either. Police haven't got to him first. Environmental considerations. Exposed building with large windows. Vulnerable to outside surveillance. Sight lines obscured though. Acceptable. Is this what I think it is? Put it away, walking around in other people's business. What the hell are you doing with drugs in your flat? Oh, stop being such a wet blanket. They're therapeutic. You know, I use them scientifically. Interesting. <laughs> I can't believe it. My dad, the pillhead. They're psychedelics. Safer than riding a bus, you know? I take them to broaden my mind. Interesting. Broaden your mind? I bet you've got no idea what's in these. Could be mixed with carpet cleaner for all you know. How did you get them? Oh, so the stuff shirt is taking an interest, huh? You want some too? Try one of mine if you like. Wow. Oh, nice, Dad. You're trying to implicate me now? Just tell me who's supplying you. Oh, you wouldn't believe the things I've seen, Nini. A bizarre city in the middle of the desert with strange beings with, with red and green skin. And a huge flower with glowing walls. Ah, uh, trippy, huh? Oh, yeah. His name, Dad. Calls himself Spider. It was very easy to find. I looked him up online at the library. Here, I'll write down his phone number. Wow. All right, six nine. Can't stop thinking about you. Mm. Oh, this is the 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 person that um she's cheating on her husband with. All right. Didn't you say it free? I'm swinging by yours the minute. Uh, feisty booty call then. Ha! So eat out. She's talking about food. Hopefully, she's talking about food. Yeah, I could get takeaway or something. Oh wait, sorry, I totally missed what you were going for there. <laughs> you dirty mind. Well, I can show you some of my quality bedside manner again if you want. Sorry, just got this now. What's on the tube? Be at yours in about 15 minutes. Ah, okay. Can't stop thinking about last night. X. I'm be honest. I'm married. I'm for team marriage, so I'm not for play play. As in, I don't want to play play with nobody else other than my wife wife. You know what I mean? So, 
wait, wait. I mean, realistically, all these options could really just be like be forceful. Like, yeah, I I also was thinking about it last night. Or teasing me like, yeah, not really, not really. I mean, it really wasn't that fun or anything. Or no fuss, like, yes. Hey, Norm, right? No fuss. What? What? Are you serious? Ugh. I'll be back. I'll check on you soon. Don't do any more of that junk. Oh, yes, yes, child. Leave me be. Oh, I'm disappointed in Miss Mina Hughes. I really am. Hopefully she's going over there to break it off. All right, Mina. Just be strong. Stand up straight. Take a deep breath. And let them have it. And I, when I say I have it, I mean you're break, you're done with them. Call it quits. Can I help you? Uh, yeah. Um. You're Wendy, right? Your dad's told me all about you. Right. Uh. I'm Mina, your dad's friend. I know who you are. Ooh. Oh. Good. Well. Going anywhere nice? Nope. All right. Good talk. Okay. Well, I better go. It was lovely to meet you. Sure. I like your wedding ring. Oh, <gasps> she knows. Hey, Didn't expect to see you today. Well, you have a ring. Yeah, you I are. Think I've made an enemy. When he's just a typical bullshit teenager. Yeah, a bit. She'll be fine. Uh, I mean, I'm not liking this situation. This could make things difficult. I guess I could always try and win her over. Take her out for a coffee or something. Do you think she'd go for that? Or you could just quit cheating. <sighs> Thanks for support. No need to sugarcoat it. Anyway, you gonna invite me in? Wow, is that a you like um, a metaphor for sex? Train going in a tunnel. All right. Oh, Mina, Mina, Mina. Disappointed. Hello, Mr. Spider. Good to meet you. How are you? Is this a wind up or something? Right. How's this work then? Bit of small talk until you're ready to hey, get into John. business. Hey, it's John. It's John. What's, what's up, man? About? Oh, well, that's a shame. If you're not interested in my money, I'll have to phone that other guy. Come to the alley off Cherry Tree Lane in about thirty minutes. Uh, she probably should stop worrying about her dad's drug problem. Oh, hold on, hold on. let's see what they gotta say. Um, why well, I still walk? Oh, this is what it's her husband. Okay, cool. Hey, babe, can you pick up some milk on your way home? Never mind. I went out and got some. What time are you coming home, babe? Sorry, I've been in meetings all day. I've had stuff and my phone switched off. I'm I'm way back now, though. Have you eaten already? Okay, no worries. I was wondering where were you? Yeah, me and Dylan ate earlier. I saved you something though, just in case you haven't eaten yet. Thanks, sorry. There's going to be some late nights, though, this week. A lot of going on at work. I understand. Thanks. Hey, babe, I popped up and picked Dylan up from Karate Cash, just in case you were wondering where I am when you get home. I can't remember if you said, but are you eating at your dad's tonight? I bought enough food for you anyway, if you'd let me, let me know a time. Let me know a time. You'll be back in the next hour or so. We can eat all, all eat together. Sorry, yes. That would be lovely. I'm just heading over to the dad's now. Shouldn't be too long, though. If you can hang on, we can eat around eight-ish. Okay, great. All right, we'll wait for you. I don't like. I'm not a big fan of Mina. Um, just test the water, I guess. Dan, really sorry about this, but I've been called into the office last minute. Shouldn't be too long though. How long are you gonna be? Probably not long, longer than third, half an hour. Okay, well we can wait for you. It would be nice to eat as a family at least once this week. Do you think you can be here before nine? Uh, 
sure. I'll definitely be there by nine. In the meantime, please don't starve. See you in a bit. Damn it, Mina. What are you gonna do? Feed the bird on the phone. That's us. Your spider. Yeah, we doing business or what? Mm-hmm. Okay. Shut up and pay attention. You've had a good run. You've made a bit of money. But you're done. You're not going to be selling any more of that crap around here. And if I learn otherwise, I'm going to get nasty. <laughs> you what? I think I was clear enough. Got some mouth on you. Jog on, love, before I take it to heart. Why are your lips so wet, bro? Oh dear. Wrong answer. I'm afraid I'm going to have to hurt you now. You serious? So well, she's a robot, bro, so you ain't got no chance. Um. Okay, let's go check what he got going on. Impractical footwear. Shoes without socks. Increased risk of blisters. Reduced by pedal speed performance. Fashion sense symptomatic with a, of a dickhead. Pigeon legs. Severe muscle deficiency in quadriceps. Risk of power for lower strike. Extremely low. Quippering grip. Sweaty palms suggest first time holding a blade. Like the blade has, has low reach. Blade is blunt. Weak grip suggests high prob probability of disarmament. Bad posture. Had his had a habit of slouching. His center of balance will be off. Likely caused from lack of anaerobic exercise. Wow. Pathetic. Ow, ow. Yeah, that's my arm. <sighs> Gavin Briggs, flat 114, Oriel House, the Villas. Very nice. You've done well for yourself. Hopefully this gets my point across. What do you think, Gavin? Yeah. You can do better than that. Yes, absolutely. I'm gonna hang on to your license for now. Just in case I'm ever in the area and I need to look you up. You're crazy. Who the hell are you? Do what I say and you won't need to find out. Now get lost. All right. Okay, so just beat up that kid. Okay, so she started to redeem yourself, you know, trying to no stop her. No disrespect, Spider. You've got bare bad things coming your way. Okay. Kids, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, what's going on right now? Oh, okay, I'm walking now. You're so dead. If you don't give your, my license back, I'm gonna smash your head in. Head. You should have smashed my head in before I took your license, not afterwards. Oh, I got stuck on a. Oh, somebody watching me? Oh, no. Got stuck on a little post. Ugh. Kids, you know what I mean? Oh, man. Real tough. Let's go home, be a loving wife. Okay. Having fun with your extracurricular activities. He knows. What? You know, all the extra work you've been doing. You should be getting paid overtime for working so hard, so late. Why do you always have to work late, Mum? Because she's not actually working. <laughs> I feel like I'm being ganged up on here. You are. Mum has a really important job. It's like a big competition where the best win. And Mum is the best. You're the best as well. Oh. He's come see come sir. What does that mean? It means it's past your bedtime. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm hmm Come on, Dylan. I'll tuck you in. Oh, Dad, can't you do it? Dang. It's fine. Good night, Dylan. They know. I have a feeling they know. I'm gonna have to cancel tonight. Why? 
What's wrong? It's not it right. Matter. I just can't make it, okay? Oh my god. Okay. Just redeem yourself. So when Call it quits. See? Never. Don't, don't block his number. I'm not sure, Felix. Just give me some time. Oh my goodness. Seizure the future. Oh, seizing the future. <laughs> okay, okay. Apparently I can't read. That's cool. No worries. Okay, going to work. Yeah. wonder what our job really is, though. Is it like... Are we like FBI? Or are we like... A spy? Hughes, you didn't disappoint. I had a look through your examination results. They're very strong. That's great to hear. When do we get started? Not quite yet. I want to give Amy another shot. We're going to do another round of interviews. Just the two of them. Oh, my God. Oh, come on. I'm sorry, sir, but I'm having a hard time understanding why this is necessary. I agree. This assignment means a great deal to me. There's a long personal history attached to this. You can understand why I want to be absolutely sure I have the right person. <laughs> when have I ever let you down? I'm not afraid of a little competition. <laughs> Just tell me where and when and I'll bring it. There she is. Uh, I mean, realistically, she... The job's in the wrong. I mean, if you already before picked her over to Amy originally, why are we doing a second round? You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, baby. We just finished Mina Hughes with her cheating ways. Ugh. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Next time, we're going to do Stranger Danger with our favorite girl, Donna Anna Blecky. Or Donna. Well, yeah, Donna. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, keep on keeping on. Okay, bye.